fucking hell! That's right, I'm reviewing Hellboy. <laughs> Alright, ghouls and gals, like all my new movie reviews, I'm gonna keep it short, sweet, simple, and to the motherfucking point! Alright, guys, uh, Hellboy 2019, as I like to call it, stars. David Harbour as the titular character, Hellboy, Mila Jovovich uh, as the Blood Queen, and all these lovely people. This person right here, this dude right here, this older actor right here, whose name is eluding me right now, but I'll put his name here in the bottom. And also stars this person right here too. Boop. Alright guys, um, before I get this review started all the way, I just want to say, uh, Hellboy is... One hell of a fucking movie, pun intended. Uh, not in a great way. This movie is straight out of the fucking 90s, dude. This movie somehow is escaped from the 90s and got released today into theaters. And the reason I say that is that this movie follows like every 90s action movie trope straight to the motherfucking T. And not Ryan T. <laughs> Dear God, guys, this movie is so dumb but it's fun but it's so dumb but it, it's just dumb are you serious <laughs> i hate to say it but this film is so dumb that it almost outweighs the fun that is in this film don't get me wrong this film is fun it is fun to see david harbour's hellboy running around doing hellboy stuff whenever they let him off the leash to do hellboy stuff um but this film, it is so poorly acted, I almost feel bad for David Harbour because he's the only person giving it in this film. He's actually trying to give Hellboy some sort of personality while everybody else is kind of just like on fucking autopilot and it seems like if they're reading like off of cue cards. And they also have no chemistry with one another. They have zero fucking chemistry. When something bad happens to one character or something like heartfelt happens to a character, you don't give a fuck because you don't know these characters. The movie gives these characters zero weight. There's no meat on them bones, dudes. There's nothing to these characters. They are literally one-dimensional. So when anything happens to these characters, you're kind of just like, mm, okay. That guy, something happened to that guy, I guess. Whatever. Um, even Hellboy, I mean, I know I said uh, Harbor is at least trying in here, but uh, it's just so painstakingly obvious that David Harbor is not Ron Perlman. You're not Ron. David Harbor's Hellboy uh, comes off as kind of a little bit whiny and kind of like a sassy Twitter troll, whereas... Uh, this Hellboy, the Hellboy that everybody all know, we all know and love, comes off as kind of like a smart mouth badass, and that's, you know, from what I understand, the Hellboy character is. I'm not the hugest uh, Hellboy fan, nor am I a Hellboy historian, but I would venture to say that diehard Hellboy fans think this is probably the definitive live-action Hellboy, not this one. And I hate to say it because. I like David Harbour. I like him. He is a great actor and I thought that he would have been a great fit for Hellboy. And it is not his fault because like I said, this dude is trying. He is at least trying. This chick? Not trying. This chick? Not trying. This guy? Not trying. This guy? You can probably guess at what he's doing. It's not trying. So that is a big drawback for this film. That is a fucking punch to the dick for this film. Uh, the cast. The cast seems like if they just do not care. And from what I understand, behind the scenes, this movie was fucking hell. And that's the second hell pun that I'm going to use today. <laughs> but seriously, guys, I heard that the behind the scenes drama in this film was really fucking terrible. And it kind of shows because this movie is just so disjointed and none of it like connects it just feels like a um a series of events instead of a film like hellboy and company go from one place to another place to another place without really any explanation as to why they're there or how they got there or how this serves to the greater plot as a whole that's another thing the plot in this film is so simple that it baffles me that this film was able to make such a simple plot so convoluted. The, the, literally the plot is Hellboy 
is a paranormal investigator. He finds out about this blood queen, and then he has to stop said blood queen from taking over the world and rising the demons and monsters from the depths of hell. That's pretty much the, the, the plot. That's the plot right there. And if it would have just stuck to that plot, it would have been... Or not, maybe not... It would have been, eh, okay. But... Instead, it's like, hey, well, what about if Hellboy is related to King Arthur? And what about if we throw all this medieval shit in there? And what about if we don't really even show the main villain of the film and we show this fucking man bear pig thing the whole time? That's another thing that pissed me the fuck off. Why would you get someone like Mila Jovovich, not saying that she's a great actress because she isn't, but she is, you know, a noticeable face in Hollywood. Why would you get her as your main villain and not have her as the main fucking villain in the movie? She is literally like in five minutes of the fucking movie and that is re fucking ridiculous. Instead, most of the runtime is spent focusing on fucking man bear pig over here who's just an annoying villain. He's inco inconsequential to the fucking story. Well, to be honest, he is really the main villain because I'm not going to spoil that part, but it really revolves around this man bear pig fucking thing. And it's just, I don't get it. Why? Why would you make, why? It, I, you make no sense, movie. You make no sense. <sighs> I mean, and another thing that this movie really, like, fails at is the CG. The CGI in this film, it is, it's abysmal, guys. I'm sorry. I, I didn't want to be that nitpicky asshole, but I couldn't let it go. Like, that CG, that CGI in that film, in that Hellboy film, it is gosh darn awful, guys. I am serious. <laughs> I don't know why I went all southerner there, but uh, this Hellboy movie will do some hellish things to you, my dudes. Uh, the CGI in this film is between looking like a sci-fi uh, made-for-TV film and looking like a PS3 uh, video game. It is fucking crazy. Like, this movie needed a second or third passing through to, like, perfectly render that CGI. Because as it looks now, that looks like a fucking cartoon, my dude. But, I digress. Um, that isn't this film's main, uh, main flaw. Its main flaw is the cast. Um, them not having any any chemistry whatsoever, the film having a villain that is non-existent, and the film convoluting a very simple fucking plot, and the dumbness outweighing the funness, that's one thing that really made me sad, because at the end of this day, at the end of this day, at the end of the day, this film, it has all the ingredients, it was rated R, it had David Harbour as Hellboy, it had some badass gory moments, it had some actually some pretty good practical effects, but it takes all of those good nice ingredients, puts them into a blender, and pours it all out into a cup, and it is just a fucking shitty piece of fucking crap drink. And I hate to say that because I was one of the people rooting for this film. I was so open to having another version of Hellboy because, let's face it, the only good Hellboy is the first one. The second one, the Golden Army, it left a lot to be desired. And sadly, so did this Hellboy. This Hellboy is not the worst thing that I've ever seen, but by God, it is a really fucking terrible thing. So in summary, guys... Hellboy is a dumb 90s action film that somehow made it to the, the to the theaters today where the dumbness outweighs the funness and the cast just doesn't seem like they don't even want to be there. Um, I give it a 5.5 and I honestly guys I don't think you should rush out to see this one. I think you should wait till it hits Netflix or maybe VOD or whatever, wherever you watch uh, movies at home. I'm Ryan T guys and I'll see you in the next one.